Hey, love folks, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you for being here. You know, I know it's hard for us just on a daily basis, just going through things left and right. And we're getting activated. So, you know, I'm sending out that loving vibe, the uplifting vibe, and comforting vibe that you truly need, especially at this moment in time. So, with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction as well. And um, if you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes or uh, good information you would love to share with a loved one or a friend that especially needs to hear it right now, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up and like it, even share on your social media favorites as well. And thank you so much for giving my channel love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. When universe has grounded you, it's for a good reason. You know, there are times where... Oh, y'all, hold on a minute. I'm getting kind of thirsty. Yeah, I'm having me a little monster drink today. Cause I've been drained. But I've been drinking a lot of water behind him, so don't fuss at me. But, um, yeah, I've been, like, very down lately. And it's just like, if I wasn't going through depression, I was going through a lot of anxiety, irritability, <laughs> irritability, restlessness, um, just just going through it, you know, emotional roller coasters. Like I've been telling people, you've probably been going through emotional roller coasters. But, you know, we felt like, I really felt like, dag, you know, between 2017, 2018, I thought I was going through pure hell. But I still got this, you know, residue, but it's not as hard as it was, you know, throughout last year. Because it seemed like, I know a lot of people were going through it, like, left and right. You know, there were some people, you know, I had to check on them, like, dag, I haven't heard from you in a while. Is everything okay? You know, just make sure all, everything was all good, because I know going through them things, it can really put a, a mental strain on on your on your noggin up there going through all those different things and it's just like wow you know what is the universe trying to teach me what why am I not able to do that you know do certain things you know why if I feel like I got to give myself solitude and a lot of us empaths you know we love our alone time but no when we really close ourselves off we really close ourselves off you know and it was for a good reason I was just like if you've been with me for a while you know like you know that last six six to eight months you knew there was like around christmas time i took a whole month off and i hated it i really hated it because it was like this was my personal outlet on helping others as well as i was helping myself you know getting through certain things because like i said when i first started my channel you know people would just been with me for a while no I, when I first started my channel back two years ago, it was for me being reconnected with my mother as well as my father's side on biological fam, uh, for my biological family since I was adopted. And then it converted over, you know, helping other empaths, finding out all these things about myself, being an INFJ, being an indigo child, being um, a twin flame as well, white witch. Um, Heoka just found that out like, shoot. It's been almost close to a year. I think it's been almost close to a year. I can't I can't remember, but it's been, I did so many Hayoka videos. I can't even think straight. But, <laughs> you know, it's been helping me. So, I mean, I got frustrated when I had to take that whole month off because it was driving me crazy. But if you've been with me for a while, there was like the last videos I did towards the end of probably like November to the first week of December. It was like I love what I did, but it was like I was forcing myself to. I was getting so burnt out. I was on fumes. Even though I got tired, I mean, even though I got some rest, I was still really tired. And it was like I love what I'm saying. It's not like I'm not believing in what I'm saying, but I felt like I had to force myself to do it. And it was like people tell me, Rosalind, I can't even keep up with you. You know, I'm still back behind like two, three weeks 
behind on the videos and you're putting like, I can see if you're putting out one or two videos every day, but you were putting out four or five videos and then you were doing live and then you were doing video chats and then you were hitting up people on email. Uh, then you were doing one-on-ones on Facebook Messenger. You know, I was doing the thing. You know, I was just like, it felt like I was a social worker for empaths. So it was like going through all those different things. I had to step back take care of myself because if you know if I want to continue doing this I had to make sure I was on a good up to, uh, five by five I had to be straight so I had to take that time out to do self-care you know I was having going through so many things at one time losing a lot of weight being very uh, irritable uh, repeating myself more than once like I was doing my videos I'm like God, dog, I don't said that like two or three times and you know there are certain people that are like Rosalind you know you you know you're talking really fast and I might probably be doing it today because y'all was tired even though I got enough sleep it's like I was really dragging because I know I did uh, a reading for somebody the other day and their loved ones came through and it's a blessing I told you know I tell people you know I do medium uh, readings every once in a while it's not a hobby I like to do uh, but if it's something that is going to help you heal to get through it you know I would do that but I don't try to do that often because it's, it, it opens up a portal on certain things you know people ask you hey can you read me and it feels like you're stepping over boundaries because there's certain things I don't want to know about you because I know especially if, if you've been an empath you have went through a lot of trauma and it's like with me doing readings I, I can be able to feel everything you went through seeing everything you went through and that is not just traumatizing for that person they might not want me to you know they wanted me to read on one thing and it opened up a whole can of worms just for me doing that and it puts me in an emotional state and it's very very draining it's just like I was doing tarot card readings before not you know personally for myself for my, my daughter or whatever but um you know, I stopped doing that for a while, but I do them every once in a while because it's very draining. You know, I give it to people that are empaths and sit up here and do them readings every day because it is tired. It take it takes you takes a lot out of you because after that day when I had all these visions about portals opening and you know seeing a volcano like a metaphor of a volcano erupting because things are about to pop off and I'm seeing light switches over different impacts every time and it's like they're standing there like robots and like pow you're activated pow you're activated pow you're activated so it was just like wow I'm seeing all this and I'm just like you really want me to tell these folks this and like yes <laughs> like they're talking about like Lazarus lies Lazarus <laughs> you know I was like wait a minute I'm not trying to scare nobody I don't want nobody thinking the rapture or something like that's coming I don't really think it's something like that but it's something we really are not expecting like it's going to throw us back like are you serious? You know, really something crazy like that. So going through all these different changes, we had to go through these changes for a minute. If universe is making you sit down because there's a lot of things you probably need to heal from, go ahead and try to heal from them. I'm, I'm doing my best on doing the same thing too. I'm not going to tell you something I'm not trying to do myself. Because there are certain things, there's a lot of things I have let go of, but there are certain things that, you know, it's still like a thorn in my side, like digging in it, like... You know, I really want to crack somebody's skull open, you know, not literally, but you know, that's how I felt when, you know, when you feel that anger coming in you because of certain things has been done to you. But I have to know, you know, nobody's perfect. There are some dark things out there and there are some true monsters out there, but they didn't get like that on their own. You know what I'm saying? And I had to really look at it that way, even though it's really some hurtful things that has happened to you. You have to look outside of the box because there's a reason why these things have happened to you and it could be the most deepest darkest things any kind of abuse I have you know every kind of abuse there has happened that they can possibly be meaningful I've had that done to me so you know I used to say where was God at when all this happened where was God at when this happened you know and it's like God didn't do these things you know there's always got to be a balance of things God is going to make sure you can come out of this you know even though 
we have been broken in so many different ways. It's just the way you have to get back up from that situation. So knowing that universe, God, or whoever has you grounded, these are the things that you need to pay attention to. Look at how your thought process is. Look at how you're pushing out things towards others as well as yourself. Look at the things that you might be thinking about that you shouldn't be thinking about that's no longer serving you. You might still be going through that rotating door of being angry. You know, me, I'm doing that as well. But I'm trying to let go of it saying, you know what, this is not affecting me no more. You know, karma has this way of happening. You push out love and light. No matter what has happened to you or what these people have done to you, no, they're not affected. They can't affect you about that no more. We're protecting you from this. But we need you to let go of this so you can be able to pick up this. So you have to look at all the things that you have went through in your past or just in the situations you probably went, recently went through. Knowing you shouldn't really dwell on the past, you shouldn't really be dwelling on the future. Even though you're planning for your future, stop trying to figure things out that's not even occurred yet. Because these things cannot occur for you, you know, if you're heading towards something, these things can't occur for you until you're able to deal with the things that are affecting you now that's, that's kind of messing that up. Because it's like, you're like, oh my God, this should have been happening for me. Yeah, but everything is like a divine plan. You can't be frustrated with yourself, but you have to be able to go through those stages. Grief, letting go, forgiveness, love, and then all these views, you know, and gratefulness. You have to make sure you're always telling the universe everything you're grateful for. You know, even the little, you know, when they start seeing that you are appreciating the little blessings that are coming in your life, don't complain on the things because we have a bad habit of looking at things we don't have. But we're not saying what we're grateful for that has came into our life. So when you start doing that, universe will start supplying more things towards your way. So when you can relate to that and see that for yourself, knowing whatever you're going through, it will soon be over. It's just how you look at it and what are you doing on your part to be able to start that new chapter. So knowing whatever you're going through is for a good reason. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Much love and light and positivity towards you. And um, my post notification shout out goes to uh, the Alien Vegan. Much love to you. And Jackie Tor Torres. Much love to you as well. Hope everything is all blessed and good in the hood. And hope everybody's having a blessed, safe weekend. Much love and light. Sounds much love and positivity as you possibly can know that you are truly blessed and highly favored and forever loved and knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days so much love to you peace and be wow